Do 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 do. Hey, how's it going? Thanks for visiting. I'm Nancy Gammon. Do you suffer from embarrassing poor humor? Has your dog stopped laughing at your jokes? If so, it's time to unleash the power of the pyramid. All you need is some melting ice and pretty powdered dye. I'll show you exactly how it's done. I'm starting with a piece of 100% cotton muslin that's been soaking in a soda ash solution for at least 10 minutes. It's pretty squarish, but not exactly schmackly. I'm going to start by folding it in half in one direction, lining up the edges, and then folding it in half the other direction. So this is the center of the fabric. There's folds along both sides. And I'm going to reach under and take the corner that's exactly opposite of the center and fold it down like this. So then this is the tip of the triangle that I'm going to be working with. I'm going to take this fold and align it to this side edge and do that one more time. And then I'm going to flip the fabric over, again remembering that this is the tip of the triangle. I'm going to take this edge and fold it up to continue sending the triangles in that direction. One more time and everything is aligned. So now this long skinny triangle shape has two thick folds on one side and a bunch of folds and raw edges on the other. And I'm going to roll this up into a cinnamon roll shape, keeping these many folds and raw edges aligned as I go. But I'm going to roll it pretty loosely. If it's too tight, there won't be room for the dye to soak in. So I'm going to give it a little bit of room there kind of a loose-ish cinnamon roll with the edges lined up. And then I'm just going to cover it with a damp rag to hold the shape together and also protect the fabric against spotting. Oops, I think I lost my shape there. There we go. And I'll just tuck the ends underneath. I already have two more rolls already prepared because I thought it would be fun to try three different color combinations and compare results. Here's my setup. I'm using some plastic tubs, some cooling racks like what you'd use to cool cookies on, and then I just have some mailing envelopes set up to help give the ice something to sit on. So I'm going to put a cinnamon roll shape on each of these papers and then cover them with a layer of ice cubes. For the first roll, I'm going to use sky blue. And these are Procyon fiber reactive dyes. A nice green called lime pop. And you do want to be wearing a dust mask while you're doing this. And then the third color is something fun called bazooka pink. For the second roll, I'm going to try Fire Red, Faded Denim, and Amber Waves. The third roll gets Dark Brown, Red Violet, and Glacier Blue. Now the projects need to sit overnight so that the ice can melt, the powder can turn to liquid, and little tendrils of color can melt into the fabric. All right, let's take a look here at the beauties we've created. The next step is to rinse the fabric in cold water until the water runs clear, and then to wash out the fabric 
in a sploosh of textile detergent in hot water and rinse out the detergent. Ooh, nice. Rinse out the detergent and then let the fabric soak in a splash of Retain Dye Fixative for about 20 minutes. Uh, mix the fixative with hot water. Then rinse that out. Ooh, this one has kind of an kind of an eyeball-y shape there in the center. Very cool. So after you've rinsed out the fixative, then uh, just let it dry and press the fabric with a really hot iron, and that helps kind of bring out the little whispers of the color designs. And this one's got a nice, nice pyramid shape to it there in the center. So the fabrics look pretty dark right now. A good bit of the dye will rinse out, and then also they'll be lighter just once they're dry. So I'll take care of the rinsing process and get back with you with the final results. Here are the completed fabrics, washed, dried, and pressed with a hot iron. If you'd like to experiment together, head on over to my website at nancygammon.com where you can check out the current selection of workshops.